Hi everybody, this is Donnie Vaughn of the Marketing Twins. You can find us online at marketingtwins.com or facebook.com slash marketingtwins. Here's a quick uh, video tutorial to learn how to put this share button, uh, Facebook share button on your website. This share button here is found on an ESPN site that I found. It's even got a counter listed how many times it's been shared. So what you can do here is have that same look on your site, on your blog or page of your website. And so let me show you how easy it is to do uh, one part of this. And then obviously you're going to need to some, know how to put this on your website, either through your webmaster or if you know how to update your own website. So let me show you how to get this and some things you can do with that. First, you need to go to facebook.com slash share. And at that point, you'll be taken here. And here's actually where you build the button, you, uh, this little button here. It shows you a preview of what it looks like. You can change it up a little bit. You can include a counter either to the side of it or above it. On ESPN, they had it to the side. You can see, I've seen it different ways. Or if you don't want a counter, some people are a little unsure if it was going to only be shared a couple of times. They may think that looks bad, uh, so they don't want to see just two times. So you can take the counter completely off. What, however you have your button set up. Then what it does here is you're asked to um, put in the URL that you want to share. Now, if you want to share of your parent page, um, that's, you can do that. Uh, or you can have a custom URL of where you want it specifically to go. Now, ultimately, you're going to be brought to this code here. And so what you want to do is, let's say I've got this blog here and I'm launching a new product. I can uh, create the URL, and I'm just going in and copying the, that. And I can paste it in right here. And when I do that, it's automatic with that inside this right here. And now, at this point, I can copy this code. I can go to my blog, and I'm, I'm gonna, I just happen to know that this is where I, I do it on my blog. Again, you'll need to check with your webmaster or know where to put it. Uh, I can just put it right there. I can update this. And now, when I know that it's updated, I can refresh my blog, and there's the Facebook share. And now, if I click on that, you can see that it brings up the Facebook share it even brings the image that comes in from the particular site and that is how easy it is to put your Facebook share I will tell you there is a little thing that you can do um, right here when you've copied in your code this word right here share it might be easier if I show you uh, on a document let me show you here this right here is what your the code is and when you personalize it this is what is brought in to your thing that's what we just did however see the share button right here or share text you can actually personalize that to say share with friends and so if you share with friends and you copy that in and I put that into my code here now when I update my page let's see if it works Aha, uh -huh. now just share with friends. So you could even say share with everyone you know or share with five people by the end of the day. You could really personalize that if you wanted to. But that's how you set up the Facebook share button on your website. Hope that helps. Again, if you need more information, contact us at marketingtwins.com or facebook.com slash marketingtwins. Thanks.